pretty straightforward stuff this week. I feel like we're still in that window where anything about a next gen console has to be discussed, no matter mm-hmm. how mundane. So <laughs> here we go. Um, Phil Spencer has le- uh, lended some some credibility to the idea that they will have an event this month about stuff. Great. <laughs> I love like, announcements I mean, the, the of rumor, announcements. Well, all he said was, you know, typically vague executive talk of, you know, I'm encouraged to be able to talk more about blah, 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 plans. Should be August. I think August will have more to say is his quote. <laughs> but, uh, but the rumor, if you remember the rumor going around a few weeks ago, was that they'll have like a hardware thing in august right that's where they potentially will announce the the cheaper lockhart box uh stuff like that so sounds like they do have something like that in the works what are you what did y'all down the expectations for that what are your what are your hopes and dreams out of another xbox hardware stream i mean at this point if it's not price and date i do not yeah care. yeah that's, I, think, I just want to know the prices of these things because yeah. like the, it seems like both are doing two versions like PlayStation Mm -hmm. said they're doing the discless and the disc version. I imagine Series X will be the same thing. Um, But I don't... I just wanted the price. Like, what? which one's going to be cheaper? Yeah. (laughs) yeah, (laughs) This this has to be that, just because, like, they got to start taking pre-orders for this thing at some point, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I think think probably pricing details will be guaranteed, but... uh... Lockhart is just the code name, right? That's not yes. like an official. Yes. It's okay. Just like like Scarlet is the code name for the Series X, and you know the rumors are they'll be calling it the Series S, which is the least surprising thing ever, based on yes. the way their stuff has been going. Um, so yeah. Also, he gave that interview to I Justine, which I feel like is just <laughs> sure. She down. friends with I Carly. She's, Who's I Justine? Just shut down this podcast. She's part of the I Carly verse. I feel like that. <laughs> we officially are old news at this point. <laughs> Wasn't uh, I Justine the person that was like streaming their life twenty four seven, or am I imagining? I was Lonely that? Girl thirteen. Uh, okay, wait, wasn't that Justin TV? <laughs> really dating myself here. <laughs> I don't know. Is is I Justine part of Justin TV? I don't think that Poseidon know. guy was like one of those twenty four seven streamers. Oh, I don't really. Oh, no. Justin TV is a whole whole thing. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Justin TV is not a thing anymore. No, I mean Justin TV became Twitch. Yeah. Uh, a zillion years ago. Um, anyway, yeah, stay tuned for probably some more Xbox hardware stuff in the next, what is today? Do you think they'd be hyping it up weeks? a little bit more and building more excitement if they were going to announce price? The way like that Phil Spencer kind of just went off, said like, hey, we're going to have something this month, may- leads yeah. me to believe. I don't think you necessarily want to hype up a price yeah. point too much because yeah. if it's over what most people are expecting, then your backlash is going to be even stronger. Yes, yes. that's fair. And, and by all accounts, it sounds like these prices are going to be more than people want them to be. Uh, Final predict. I guess this is like our last chance, maybe to yeah, get in there. I anyone? Not, I think five ninety nine for the the X. And X. Sure, I could see it. Yeah, four fifty for the S. I I feel like the S. Mm. I feel like three ninety nine tops for the S. Like you, you got to get that thing into some ballpark that people feel mm. comfortable if they're price conscious. I feel like you can't go over three ninety nine and get that. Cr- I would almost say if they can swing it, like two ninety nine for that thing. Oh, that would be. Or or three fifty, three forty nine. I could see three fifty and like maybe bundling in a month or two months. Yeah, like get you some Game Pass or yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be really smart if they start bundling Game Pass. Um. And then, you know, they're still, they're going to keep making the Xbox One S. Like, that's going to remain part of the product line. So, like, you know, I feel like that thing drops to, like, a 150 or even a 99. Like, that's a three-tiered, you know, put that Lockhart right in the middle somewhere. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say, f- say 499 for the PS5. Maybe. Really? Maybe. For the disc one. Okay. Hmm. I might be conservative. I was going to say like 449 for the disc for you and maybe, I don't know, man. I was having a conversation with a, a friend of mine and, you know, we were just ballparking prices and he said like, I'd pay up to 800 bucks for it. And then I looked at him and it's like, 800? Oh, wow. Just get a PC at that oh point. Oh my God. <laughs> no, be careful, Jim. You do not want to recommend people get a PC. They will get very mad. I did that on the Beastcast. <laughs> Why? Why? No, 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 no. Man. Wow. Let's <laughs> Totally taking me back to the '90s when, like, the 3 to go was seven hundred dollars, and the OGO games were two hundred fifty dollars a piece. <laughs> wow! Don't know how good you have it. <laughs> um, 
yeah, anyway, that sounds like that's uh, in the works pretty soon. Um, this got leaked and then confirmed by Microsoft that the Halo Infinite multiplayer is going to be free to play, which seems interesting. Kind of wild. Uh, where is Call of Duty current Call of Duty at? With do they have a? Did they split Warzone, Warzone off into a Warzone's free to play? Warzone's free to play. Okay. Um, and then they didn't do like paid season passes this year, which is cool. So like all the maps are free if you have Modern Warfare for multiplayer. Um, basically, the only monetization is just battle pass and those very expensive skins in the store. Sure. Um, sounds like this will have battle pass too. Also, completely unsurprising. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if the biggest shooter on the market is doing free to play, then Halo also doing it seems like maybe less <laughs> of a big surprise. But um, I don't really think anybody has any sense of what that multiplayer looks like, though, right? Right, I was about to ask, is this like all of the multiplayer modes or is it just like a battle royale equivalent or just team deathmatch? I this was kind of unclear. They're like one of the storefronts okay, like briefly ran a tag and they, like you know they tag stuff on their stores with different stuff and they ran like a sure. battle royale tag on it briefly. So there might be something like that in there, but I feel like they've been fairly vague about what this multiplayer is actually going to be. Um but they did say it'll run at 120 frames a second. On the cool. Series X. Anybody? I That's know. exciting. Does Halo, does Halo, Halo, Halo multiplayer like curry the same favor that it used to? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. I think like there's still that generation of gamers outside of the like adjacent to the mainstream that played Halo in college every day and are just like psyched for the new Halo. Like the like the Call of Duty gamer, Katie. I'm not trying to, to slam you. Yeah, I guess you know there's probably an appetite for that style of multiplayer done really well and in like an expanded setting, you know, like if they, if that yeah. open world stuff carries over to the multiplayer as, as kind of robustly as it could, like I could, I could see it. I don't know. It seems like, you know, the narrative around Halo is that it's maybe not quite what it used to be in general, mm -hmm. but. I, when did Halo 5 come out? Uh, 2015, I want to say. Yeah. Sounds right. And then, so I feel like that has something to do with it. You know, it's been yes, five yes, yes, 2015. And then, years since a, a mainline Halo game. Right. Yeah, it has been a bit. Um, also, there's there's rumors going around, or if, if, if you don't know, they still require Xbox Live Gold to play free-to-play multiplayer games on the Xbox, like Fortnite and stuff like that. Uh, oh. There are rumors about that policy finally going away. Oh, that'd be nice. Console, so, like, it's kind of... <laughs> kind of makes sense to not put a free-to-play game behind a paywall if you want people to play it <laughs> and spend money on it 